Good afternoon, students and parents. Believe it or not, there is only 15 school days remaining until the end of the school year. So with that in mind, I wanted to make sure that we communicated important events and dates as we close out the school year. So first, this Friday, May 29th, will be special area catch up day. No core subject work or assignments will be assigned on this day. I know the feedback that we've gotten um, from both students and parents is that this day was very helpful. So again, spend this time catching up on your special area work. Monday, June 1st, uh, teachers will notify you of the cost of any items. Uh, so for instance, I know a couple of students might have misplaced books. Um, so, you know, we'll let you know the cost of that so the school can uh, purchase those and replace them. Additionally, there are a lot of events for eighth graders and graduation. So if you would like to return your lock to get back money, you can do so on June 1st. Eighth grade pictures will also take place at this time. You will receive an email and something in the mail from Miss Dilly regarding your assigned time. The photographer will be there uh, to take your picture. You will have option to purchase graduation pictures. There will be a package and an envelope that students can take home and the family, any family who would like pictures can order them. All students will receive a group picture. That is free um, and the school will give that out. Please keep in mind that due to social distancing and regulations, parents cannot come into the building. So it is okay, students can uh, come to the building to get their photo taken if parents are not available. Um, that day will still uh, be work. So please make sure that you keep up with your classes. Yearbooks, uh, we have been told should arrive estimated the second week of June. Uh, once yearbooks come in, we will set up a virtual yearbook signing for students and more information will follow once we have a more concrete uh, date of when the yearbooks would be coming in. Thursday, June 4th, any students that owe money for books um, can come to the school between 9 and 12 uh, to pay any fees. Checks should be made out to NetCon Board of Education or they can be paid in cash. On Friday, June 5th, that will be the last day of teacher-led instruction for grades five through eight. On Monday, June 8th, will be a middle school makeup day. Individual, again, grades five through eight. Uh, individual teachers will coordinate with students. Students can coordinate with teachers regarding other work. On Tuesday, June 9th, uh, there could be graduation-related activities um, for eighth graders. More information will follow. Uh, again, that will be another middle school makeup day. Um, so teachers can coordinate with students. On Tuesday, June 9th, will also be the last day of teacher-led instruction for grades K to five. On Wednesday, June 10th, all grades, all, all students in grades five through eight will take Linkit testing ELA. This test, uh, I'm gonna talk about that in a little bit, but this test, uh, students are aware of this test. They've taken it throughout the course of the year and I'll get into that in a little bit. Wednesday, June 10th through June 15th, uh, Pre-K through four teachers will you know, plan fun educational activities, lessons. Uh, nothing will be graded during this time, but uh, you know, there will be links on Google Classroom and different activities and lessons that students can complete during these school days. On Wednesday, June 10th, um, students will begin returning items such as any uh, books that teachers have given. Again, the workbooks, the disposable workbooks that students write in do not need to be returned, but any hardcover books, uh, math books, any language arts, novels. So that, will, that process will begin on Wednesday, June 10th. Outside the double doors where students enter will be a table. You can come by and drop off your items. We are just asking that you put any books in a bag and put a card in there that says the student's name and the grade. Um, that will help our custodial staff kind of sort the items out and put them in the gym by grade level. So again, please make sure that you return items in a bag with a card inside containing the name and also the grade level. Second grade, 
Students should return items between 9 and 10 on that day. Um, 10 to 11, third grade can return items. And from 11 to 12 p.m., fourth grade can return items. On Wednesday, June 10th, grades 5 through 8 will then move from ELA into math link it testing. Um, and then on Thursday, June 11th, we will continue return of items from 9 to 10 a.m. Fifth grade will return items. 10 to 11 a.m. Sixth grade can return items. And 11 through 12, seventh grade can return items. On Thursday, June 11th, math link it testing will continue for grades 5 through 8. And then on Friday, June 12th, from 9 to 11 a.m., 8th graders should return their items, so any books that they have, and their Chromebooks. Uh, other students who are not in 8th grade or are not moving or leaving the district who needed a Chromebook can keep the Chromebooks for the summer. Um, Mr. Irwin can do updates uh, and, and take care of things even if the Chromebooks are there. So um, that is something that you are allowed to do. And then uh, grade five, middle school, you know, there will be an educational video activity for viewing. On Monday, June 15th, from 9 to 12, any students who did not have an opportunity to return any items can do that, again, through the double, double doors. June 15th is also the last day of school. On Wednesday, June 18th, report cards will be available for parents and students via Genesis. And as I said, uh, students and staff who have Chromebooks can keep them for the summer, except for eighth graders and students leaving the district. Um, I did want to touch upon a little bit the link it testing. Um, attached in this message is a letter to parents. And one of the things that I do want to stress is providing a quiet space for students to do their work independently um, without any interruptions. Students should not be permitted to use the internet or any other resources to help them. Parents, please do not assist and coach students. Uh, we want this to be done independently. Um, this will give us an idea of where students are. Um, and we analyze this data, not for only individual students, but how we need to adjust and revise our curriculum. So it gives us important information. So. That information is not as important and doesn't really help us as much if parents or students are getting assistance. We really need to see what they can do independently. Um, and we also use this for you know any students who are struggling as we begin next year to provide additional assistance. So we are trying to do everything we can to help students. So if you could help us out by uh, ensuring that you know you are not helping them as a gives us you know, the information that we need if they do it independently. The other thing is um, calculators should not be used for math except for Algebra 1 students. Teachers will be coordinating and giving information on how to log in. You'll see here that this is the link for students to log in. They will need their student ID number and the teachers will provide a test code via Google Classroom. So I just wanted to make you aware of that. and. Again, this is not to overwhelm students, uh, but we really like to spend the time, especially in the summer, analyzing data, seeing where we can improve, um, how we can adjust the curriculum, how we can maybe adjust pacing guides to really meet the needs of our students. And that is the overall goal uh, with this testing. So again, um, feel free to call the school with any questions. I hope everybody has a great weekend. Please stay safe and well. Thank you.